Welcome to Doctory's app demo. Let's have a look at how the register patient process goes. Doctory's is divided into three users which can be identified through these icons. The patient user, the specialist or the doctor user, and the clinic user. Let's try to register as a patient user. Fill out the registration form and click register when you're done. When the register button is clicked while the fields that are required haven't been filled out completely yet, doctors will notify you through a pop-up that there are some fields required. Now, let's complete the registration process. And now, all done! Very easy! Let's take a look at how the register doctor process goes. Like the register patient process, as a specialist or as a doctor, you need to fill out the registration form and click register when you're done. Doctorist will notify you through a pop-up when there are required fields that you haven't filled out yet. Let's now complete the registration process. And now all done, very easy. Same goes for our third user, which is the clinic user. In order to register as a clinic user, you just need to fill out the registration form and click register when you're done. Quite easy, right? Let's log in as a patient user and update some information on the account. Doctorist will let you know when you typed in your username and password incorrectly. Once logged in, you can upload a photo for your profile and update a couple of information. Click Update Info to save the changes. Yay, we have successfully updated our profile. For the safety of the patients, Doctorist has a clinic verification and profiling feature to ensure that the clinic complies with all the ordinances of Mabalaka City, which is the city they operate in. This is the Verify Clinic User Interface, where new registered clinic users are to be verified by the admin by looking at their account information like location, photo of the clinic, business permit, etc. As an admin, we cannot just verify it because the clinic user here is lacking some information. Let's go to the app and update the clinic user's information and come back here. This time, I'll show you how to log in and update the information of the clinic user. Newly registered clinic users or doctor users are not verified by default unless they have updated their info to be verified by the admin. Let's update some information now. To verify a clinic user, these fields must be updated. Click Update Info to save the changes. 
let's add more information about the clinic so it will be verified. All you need to do is provide the information needed like the name of the clinic, building type, and time and days of operation. GPS location must be given a value to give the clinic a location and address as it will be shown in the GPS button on the unverified clinic admin page. Business permit requires a PDF format only that is saved on your phone which will be shown on its button on the verification page. The clinic user's information has been updated on the app. It's time to see if that information has been reflected in the verification interface of the admin and decide if the clinic user can now be verified. For this case, it looks like our clinic user had provided the needed information, so let's verify it. Now, let's go back to our app to see if the clinic user is now verified. Let's log in again and see if the verified status is now applied. As you can see, the not verified banner is now gone. Viola, clinic user is now verified. Let's see how to update and verify the specialist or the doctor user. Here, the details of the doctor user had been provided, so it's time to proceed in creating a schedule to inquire about verification. Click the Update Your Schedule Info button to upload the PRC ID photo to put in the PRC number itself and the needed additional information. To declare the time schedule properly, you may pick a clinic first via Google Map button below. Upon picking a clinic location, the user can see the time day, and address of the clinic he or she wishes to create a schedule with.
Since the doctor user chose to have a start time at 7 a.m., the doctor is apt to detect this and notify the user via pop-up. Did you see that? Awesome, right? To avoid this, one can use the GPS button text basis where in here, the selected clinic has a 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. schedule during Monday to Saturday only. Let's see the doctor's verification interface and decide whether to verify or decline the request. This is the verified doctor user interface where new registered doctor users are to be verified by the admin by looking at their account information like PRC number in its photo, expertise years, etc. As you can see, there had been creation of two schedules via app where one has a PRC license and its photo link and clinic. Here, before verifying the doctor, we will try to decline the verification request. Please note that the clinic verification interface has this decline option as well also, but we didn't show it earlier. Here, we decline the doctor's verification request, removing the entire requested doctor's schedule for verification. This may happen if the admin saw the doctor user to be unreliable due to its uploaded data. The doctor user we requested for verification was declined earlier, leading to deletion of the account. We may again request a via registration and schedule creation. Photo of PRC license of the doctor and filling out the PRC number field is a must and therefore the crucial credential needed by the admin to verify the doctor user. Let's validate it now in the doctor's validation interface. Let's go back to the app and see if the doctor user is now verified. It is now verified and the verified specialist can now be searched by its specialization. Let's see how the process of patient appointment goes. After going to the Finder tab, type in what specialist you wish to have an appointment with. Below will show you a clickable list of doctors with their clinics while on the map shows clickable markers where the clinics are and shows direction where you are. Clicking the marker shows an info box that is clickable to start requesting an appointment. Let's say we wanted to book an appointment. You may tap the Appoint Date button. A calendar will pop up. You can then choose the date you want. And upon clicking OK, you'll see the list of appointment time where you're free to choose from. If in any case you selected an invalid date like a previous date or a date not specified on the doctor's clinic day or time, Dr. Rist will prompt you and would request you to try again. Let's say you selected a slot schedule that is not yet taken. Perfect! An appointment was successfully created.
And now this is how it looks on the doctor's end. This time, I'll show you on how the doctor's side appointment cancellation would look like. On the doctor's dashboard, you'll see the upcoming appointments. Select the appointment you want to cancel. Pressing the red X button after viewing the appointment details will cancel the appointment. You'll need to provide the reason for cancellation, of course. There you have it. Very easy, right? After the cancellation, you may go to the History tab and see that the status of the appointment is now cancelled. Unlike the Mark as Done appointments, the info box won't have a button regarding an e-medical certificate. Let's have a look at the appointment finish after checkup process. Upon clicking the active or any of the upcoming appointments as a doctor, you will see a dialog box like this which will let you mark the appointment as done by clicking this button. You may go to the History tab and see the latest finished appointment that has a done status on it. By clicking it, you'll see an option where you can press Rx to prescribe something to the patient, while the paper icon or the document icon would let you generate a medical certificate file for your patient. Let's check the patient after checkup appointment interface. Go to the History tab, click the appointment you've had as a patient. What I'm talking about here is the completed appointment and not the cancelled one. You may click the Rx button to see your e-prescription. You may also see your e-medical certificate if you have the requested one from your specialist by pressing the paper or document icon here. Let's now go to the patient appointment cancellation interface. There are multiple ways to access cancellation of appointment. One is by the dashboard tab. Second is by clicking the active appointment you want to cancel. Third is by clicking those within the list of top four upcoming appointments. You may click the next icon and by clicking it, it would lead the patient user to find specialist tab wherein you can find the red X button. Tapping the red X button would let you see a pop-up box wherein you could type in your reason for cancellation. You may simply tap the proceed button to complete the cancellation. Successful cancellation would clear the Google map and so as the search area of the Find Specialist tab. This would also do the same on the Dashboard tab if it is the only present appointment. Let's now check how the specialist set up the chatbot feature. Specialist can set this up by logging into his account and by going to the account page. The doctor user may click the update your schedule info button to see the schedule. Tapping it would allow the doctor to create a chatbot. In order to add the FAQs, you can simply click the Add Question button and proceed with providing the questions and its corresponding answers at the same time.
You can tap the link to the next question option if the answer you provided is linked to the next question. You may simply tap the add button once done. Quite easy, right? Let's take a look at how this chatbot would appear on the patient's end. Chatbot, or also known as the FAQs, is available at the Find Specialist tab where the patient can book an appointment. You can simply click the Chat Doctor button wherein it will redirect you to the chat interface and let you see the FAQs that were set up by the specialist. The chatbot will ask you certain questions where you can choose what to respond to. The response of the chatbot will be based on what answer you chose from the choices given. Important information can be found in this section. You may tap the Nothing Thanks button if you're all set, or ask for more button if you need further information which would allow you to send a regular chat to the specialist. Tapping the Take an Appointment button would allow you to see the calendar again so that you can proceed with booking an appointment. Very helpful, right? Let's now check how the clinic user intervenes with the appointment setting. This feature is helpful when a patient booked an appointment in a conventional way like a regular phone call or without using the app. The clinic user can help out the patient by reserving the appointment slot using the doctor's application. In this case, the clinic user can simply tap the Add Reserve button on the dashboard, select the doctor of the patient choice, Tap the date and choose the time slot you want to reserve. There you go, the clinic successfully reserved date time selected. As simple as that. The taken time slot won't be available anymore for further appointments, making the app prompt other patients the time and the date was already reserved by the clinic user for a certain patient. Great feature, right? So that will be it for the demonstration. I hope you find the doctor's app, which is an Android-based medical specialist finder application with appointment setting, easy to use and very helpful. Thank you for watching and see you again next time.